Hey Talking Boats, it's Shifty, and welcome back to another episode of my Sim series, Blended Life. So everyone, it's been a while since you've seen Gabby, and I am so sorry that I did this to you. I was under different circumstances, one being the fact that we're in a new living environment, and it's temporary, but I just didn't want to record while I was here, and I, the only reason I'm back now is because I couldn't wait longer to record Gabby. I wanted to bring her back to you all, and the second reason was because I was in university or college or whatever, and it was just getting really difficult for me to do everything on the channel and do school it was very stressful um but i'll have an update for you guys on that later on because things did not go so hot <laughs> but anyway we're here to focus on gabby and talk about her so we are back this is going to be a very chatty episode because we're basically catching up with her it's been about a three-year time gap since then because the girls have aged up and nani is in her almost last semester of college so Gabby's family usually celebrates Winterfest at home at Gabby's house, but this year Gabby wanted to try something a little bit different. She wanted to travel with her family, go to Mount Komorebi, you know, be in the snow and go sledding and everything with her kids. And so we are here. We also invited Aldo and Nani, so they're here joining us. It's been about three years and so the girls are much older. Nani's a little different, Aldo's a little different, and oh my gosh, there's just so much to update you guys on. Um, Gabby's dad will be moving out soon he has spent three years with his daughter and it has made a tremendous difference in their relationship they're a lot closer she is so grateful to have him in her life and they just have created a bond and he's also created such a great bond with his grandchildren as well but i think that we should first start off with the twins and just to give you guys a kind of look into their style we're gonna hop on into cast and get a full detail so everyone else's outfits are pretty much the same except for Nani. She's received a huge makeover, but I think we'll explore her more in the second episode of this series being back, so next week. But I just want to go ahead and jump into the twins because they are going to be all over this episode. So first we have Lily. I call her little Gabby because I didn't change any genetics, guys. She just looks so much like her mom and she's adorable. I've seen her as a teen and she still looks like her mom, so it's really crazy we're gonna have basically a second gabby um but i only have one outfit for her i do plan to download more cc and come back and just redo a bunch of her outfits because i just didn't have a lot that tailored towards her style and i didn't want to use the clothes that come with the sims for i just like different looks so this is lily and lily is a very big social butterfly she loves talking to everyone and i would say she's super frilly she loves hanging out with her mom and beg her mom to paint her nails you know she plays in makeup her mom doesn't like for her to wear makeup but she plays the makeup and she just loves pink bright colors very vivid <laughs> colors and she's just really adorable and she's not the type to want to get her hands dirty or anything like that she just likes to sit inside watch rom-coms with her mom paint their nails and just have a good time <laughs> now lucy on the other hand she is digging in the dirt she is climbing trees throwing rocks <laughs> lucy um she just really likes to get down she also likes to go to the skate park with her brother aldo whenever he's in town he takes her uh it's a new mod that i've recently downloaded so i do like to get use out of it and i figured she would be perfect <laughs> to go to the skate park with her brother so she does like to go every now and then she is just in her tomboy era and thriving and i had so many pieces of CC where I felt like they really suited her, you know, the outfits and everything. So she is decked out to the nine. She has tons of outfits and I love that about her. The only time that her mom is like, hey, can you dress up a little bit? You know, let's, let's be a little bit more formal as if they go to a wedding, you know, that's the only reason. But Gabby is so supportive of what her daughter chooses to wear and she just doesn't care. She, even though Gabby's very, I guess, 
girly quote unquote herself she doesn't force that onto her children she just tells them to wear what they want <laughs> And everyone else is pretty much the same. I did go ahead and give Gabby um, two new outfits. So she has like this one because I feel like Gabby is still holding on to her youth. <laughs> she is still quite young. She's in her mid thirties, um, but she's doing really well for herself. And I love her style. It kind of like bounces back and forth to a bunch of different vibes, but she's taking really good care of herself. And I think <laughs> everyone's doing pretty well for the most part. Gabby has just finished prepping breakfast for everyone, so she's going to go ahead and call everyone to the meal. She did grab herself a cup of tea that Nani brewed this morning. Nani does have a really good relationship with Gabby. Gabby, they're already like, you know, mother-daughter-in-law vibes, and Gabby just loves Nani. Nani and Elda's relationship is doing a lot better nowadays. They were struggling a little bit when we guys, when we last saw them, and they're in a better place now. They still are, you know, dealing with their own problems, obviously, but they're in a better place and aldo has recently started to pick up vaping again and it's not something that gabby is proud of she's like i wish you'd stop but sometimes he gets stressed and he just chooses to vape you know that's him <laughs> i didn't even know that it was a thing i turned around just like before starting to recording this and he was sitting at the table vaping i'm like aldo no <laughs> so he's not doing things like on the streets or anything but he is still actively using his pen and you know gabby wishes he'd stop and so does nani so that's kind of what they bicker about but they also kind of talk about relationship stuff and that's where they have issues but oh look at lucy playing with her older brother she's like you're so silly she's like you think i believe in santa claus i don't believe in santa claus i know mommy and daddy put those presents under the tree <laughs> but the girls are probably about closer to seven i would say because they were about three when we last saw them um but yeah they're a little bit up in age now i am gonna have nani come over not nani i'm gonna have gabby come over and just talk to nani a little bit ask her how school's going you know all the basic stuff she just wants to make sure she's been doing okay and everything so i'm gonna have her have a deep conversation ask her about her day and just basic stuff nani has been hanging out with a lot of people but as i said i'm probably gonna save all that for the next episode so you guys can actually see everyone she's hanging out with she has roommates now in her apartment or housing situation that she has and she is just looking a little different as you all can tell her style's a lot more you know not the nani we were used to but i really do approve of her new outfit she even has like this whole poetic justice outfit and i really cannot wait to show you guys so much so that i have to show you now um look at this she's so cute <laughs> <laughs> i love it to pieces um but yeah she has just been you know rediscovering herself almost she lost herself i feel like or focused a lot on other people and so nani didn't really get to find out who nani was and she's been getting back into art again and she's even contemplating you know changing her degree and changing universities brightchester is what she thought would impress her parents even though her parents are like do what you want as long as you're happy <laughs> that's what we want um but she wanted to be a doctor at first and now she She's thinking maybe I should follow my dreams and I should pursue art so she's been debating on whether or not she should change universities wait of Lucy to pick up all the dishes poor little girl I cannot believe she's carrying every single one of those she's like hey mom I brought these in here for you can you wash them for me <laughs> Gabby's like I guess honey I, I appreciate you bringing them in even Nani's like hey I, I got this no we're not fighting over the dishes <laughs> somebody oh my gosh Aldo <laughs> Eldo's like, oh, I'll do this. It's okay. But today I did have plans for the family to go sledding. There is a winter event going on here in Montgomery Abbey. It comes with the save file. So we'll probably venture up there. It's like up the hill or so. And just be kind of kicking it today. Like I said, it's a super chatty episode. I'm sorry. We will have so much more going on in the next part. But nonetheless, I hope you guys are so happy to be here and to be seeing this family again. I know a lot of you all have been begging me to bring them back and it was killing me. But they're here. They're back. We just got up here to the Yamachan Festival. And Gabby and her family are here on the skating rink just skating around. Oh my god, I love how Lucy is just clinging to her dad and staying right by his side. <laughs> He's falling. Oh no, Lucy fell too. This is so cute. Poor Gabby. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really cute because Lily is a mama's girl and then Lucy is such a daddy's girl. So the fact that they're all paired up with almost essentially their favorite parent is super cute. Um, I think Nani and Aldo came along as well. I'm just not sure exactly where they went. They're still here. I might have to lock on and see if I can find them really quickly because I don't know where they went. I guess they stayed at the house. I thought that they would surely come out here and come ice skating with us, but I guess they wanted to stay behind and that's okay. Um, yeah, Aldo went home too. <laughs> maybe the winter is, or maybe the snow, it really isn't their thing, but it's okay. We're out here with the kids. We're having a blast, having a good time. Nani and Aldo probably will be going home a little earlier as well because Nani has to return to her families for the holidays. And she also told a friend that they could come along with her. So she has to get back home so that that way that friend can accompany Aldo and her to her parents house um, but Gabby and her family will be staying out here for the remainder of the trip I think they're gonna be up here for probably about seven days or so almost so it's a pretty lengthy trip but by the time Gabby gets back home her dad said that he would probably be in the process of packing things up and moving out but I am really excited to spend the next few days here up at Mount Komorebi with her family. So the family was getting quite tired of falling over there ice skating, so we decided to come over here and try the slopes. <laughs> I am really excited to see how Gabby does. Oh my gosh, I'm actually excited to see how everyone does truthfully. She's doing really well. They did try low intensity because it's everyone's first try, so oh, go ahead, Gabby. <laughs> this is such a fun vacation. I recommend anyone come to Mount Komorebi all the time. Low Diego oh he's not doing as good as Gabby he must not be very coordinated now I think Lily is on her way up here she had to go get some rental skis and Lucy is actually on her way down now I haven't seen any of the kids ever ski so I'm excited to see this oh my gosh look at how tiny the skis are <laughs> okay I'm really excited let's see she should crush it because she does snow not snowboarding but she skateboards so I feel like she has a decent amount of balance <laughs> oh she's killing it <laughs> let's check back with lily right quick lily is killing it too these kids are doing really great um she's probably not as good as her sister but that's okay <laughs> i really have been enjoying this i like seeing the family just kind of do family vacation things i wish we had more vacation spots to go to as a family like this because this really does impact the game oh no she fell towards the end she's like mom mom did you see me <laughs> and she's smiling i need to check poor girl oh she's just like oh my gosh that hurt so bad <laughs> i don't think that skiing's for me mom maybe we can go you know sledding i like sledding <laughs> so let's have them all come over here and go sledding together we can do go sledding on the slope with um gabby we'll do gabby and then we'll have diego go sledding on the slope with lucy Guys, I feel so bad for Lily. It says, it just wasn't my day. Lily had a pretty tough day out on the slope. Skiing is not as easy as the people on TV make it look. <laughs> so truthfully, it was not for her because no one else got upset about it. So Gabby's like, yes, honey, of course. We can come over here and we can go sledding. Maybe this will perk her up a little bit, you know. Skiing isn't for everyone and that's okay. So sledding is though. <laughs> so we're gonna go sledding and I think she'll really like this with her mom oh my gosh look at her face she's like mommy this is crazy <laughs> this is so cute i have to get all the screenshots Ooh, they are having a blast but oh my gosh they ended up <laughs> they ended up falling off here too lily is just gonna hate snow she's gonna be like you know what mom I absolutely hate the snow. I don't ever want to do this again. Please don't ever bring me on vacation here again. <laughs> she is not happy about it. She's like, I hate this stupid slut too. <laughs> Now, how is Lucy and Diego? I think they're on their way over here. Lucy is sprinting. She's ready to get on this with her dad and have a ball. She's like, I crushed it going down the ski slopes. Now I know that I can sled. I feel like she has a very playful, competitive spirit with her sister. She always likes to do a little bit better than her and it just makes her feel good. It's probably not healthy at all, but she just, you know, she likes to compete with her a little bit and show her up because she doesn't do the best at school. But but Lily does and you know sports is really where she succeeds so let's see if her and Diego <laughs> do really good on sledding oh my gosh whoa the hills okay oh no they are definitely falling too she's like this isn't supposed to happen to me <laughs> 
Diego looks like his head is about to bobble off. <laughs> you see what I mean? Twins. Absolutely twins. <laughs> Gabby has been spending this entire time trying to talk Lily up. She has been uncomfortable and unhappy about this whole situation. And she's like, mom, I just, I just want to go home. Can we, can we please go back? And she's like, honey, I spent a lot of money on this trip, you know, just try to enjoy yourself. I think Gabby spent about $4,000, $5,000 on this trip. So she's like, honey, just try, try to make the most of it. You know, we're going to eat some good food. You don't have to stay here. We can go see Yamachan. And she's like, I want to go see Yamachan, mommy. Can we go see Yamachan instead? I really, I really don't like the sledding and skiing thing. It's not for me. And we can get like some burgers and fries, please. That just sounds amazing. Okay. I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do, we can go over there and check out Yamachan and Lou <laughs> and Lily is just loving this. She's like, yes, yes, I got my way. <laughs> so Gabby is going to gather her daughter and take her over to Yamachan here so she can go see him and probably get a picture. So let's come over and take a selfie with Yamachan. She's getting a little tired too, so she's probably cranky and wants to sleep. I'm actually gonna cheat Gabby's bladder so she can really enjoy this. <laughs> Aw, yes! And Gabby, you have to take a picture of Yamachan taking a picture with your daughter. I just feel like that's what a parent would do. Like, let me let me whip this out and take a photo. <laughs> yes, of course. Look, <laughs> this is definitely your mom whenever you go to like Disney World, if you ever go. <laughs> She's like, look at you. We're going to look back on this and you're going to be so happy that I took these pictures of you with Yamachan. <laughs> this is so precious. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need another picture. They are just so cute. Yes. <laughs> See, she's going to be so thankful that her mom actually took these pictures for her while they were on vacation. <laughs> Oh, that came out so cool. I hope that she's going to start enjoying herself a little bit more. Let's ask him to do the mountain move and then ask for a capsule. Our sister's going to be so jealous when she sees that I'm over here talking to Yamachan. <laughs> they're doing the dance it's so cute and lucy's just having the best of time with her dad but she's like thank you mom so much for bringing me over here to see yamachan this is all i wanted i appreciate it so much i'm so happy that this worked out i actually didn't even know that yamachan was here so that worked out perfectly she's like mom you see i got a capsule he gave me a capsule you mommy yamachan and i wonder if it's a good one let's see what she got Ooh, we can open it now. Oh, she got a gold one. <gasps> wow, a golden princess, Cordelia. That actually fits her perfectly because she has princess attitude. <laughs> um, but we are going to send everyone back to the lodge because we're starting to get kind of like a blizzard thing going on. And I don't think any of us want to be out here in it. So we're all just now getting back from outside and Lily just wanted to sit next to her mom and just tell her, thank you so much for cheering me up today. I really appreciated it, mommy. I had such a bad time sledding. So seeing Yamachan was everything that I could have asked for. And she's like, you're welcome, baby. You know, I'll do anything for you. And she's just so just thankful to have her family here with her. And she just feels so complete. And guys, I just love seeing the smile on a little Gabby's face, aka Lily. She's just so happy that her mom is just going to do anything she can to cheer her up and turn her bad times around and Gabby really is just a spectacular mom like you're doing your best job sweetie and I appreciate it <laughs> so I feel like Gabby's family is complete at this point now that she has her daughters and she just feels like she's doing such a great job as a mom she's learned a lot from being a young mom to Aldo and she feels like she can be just the best mom she can for her daughters Lily and Lucy and I'm just so happy for her and I feel like this was a pretty good episode back guys so I am gonna stop it right here we will probably be getting engaged to Diego next episode and then after doing that we'll jump right over to Nani and Aldo's household and visit them and have a little winter fest moment so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I'm so happy this family is back on the channel I can't say it enough and I'm just so grateful that you guys are rocking with them you love them and you just are constantly asking for them to come back I really appreciate it so thank you guys so much for everything I hope you enjoy this episode back and if you did leave a like comment down below tell me how excited you were to see them and yeah i will talk to you all very very soon bye guys